Stockton. What comes to mind when you first think of Stockton, California? Like anyone else from a beautiful city, I think of childhood memory, family, and a home. I like living in Stockton. Uh, I think that there's, you know, the pros and cons, there's negatives and the positives of the city, um, you know, because of the way that we get classified, but uh, at least growing up and where I live, I feel like it's not that bad of a place. I actually really like it. My family's here, I've grown up here. I know that it has a bad reputation sometimes, but uh, to me, I, I feel like it's a, a good place. For as long as I can remember, I've always heard many negative things about Stockton. It's currently ranked eighth amongst the most dangerous cities in California. Not only is violence a big factor in the Stockton community, but so is the lack of housing. It's tough to see homelessness um, just because I want to do something about it, but I don't even know where to start. It's sad to see because there's definitely areas where there's more, but even in just my day-to-day -day life, like I see it often, so I feel like it's pretty sad to see. But the one thing that many people don't want to understand is that these people didn't choose to be homeless or be put in the position that they're in at the moment. I, I, I lost my job. Yeah, it's my fault. Please. I don't blame nobody else. Today, I aim to present a balanced view of the housing issue, considering the perspectives of both those in need and those in a position to help. As of April 1st, 2024, the U.S. Supreme Court granted cities more power to arrest, cite, and find people who sleep outside in public places. But what does that mean for the less fortunate? That, I think it's right. We're, we're in a bad situation already, and it's getting worse. As a business owner, I understand the point of view. I understand wanting your um, your building, your your place of business, to be um, you know presentable. Um, welcoming the customers, but on the flip side, is there something else being done to offset the fact that these people are not being uprooted from where they were staying? Those places are usually like where there's shade or where it's like the most cleanly, so they're just kind of picking places to survive. What would you say to a person that thinks negatively about homeless people out in the street? You try it. You try it.